Welcome to the series of five most common mistakes on Pinterest. And today we are going to start with the first mistake usually Pinterest users make when they start on this platform. So let's go to the video. Hi, I'm Michaela. I'm Pinterest manager and strategist. And I'm here to show you what is the, how much is the potential and it's great potential for your business of this platform. So my mission is to show you and help you to understand better the algorithm in Pinterest and how we can the best way use it for your business blog or e-shop. So let's come back to the video and our first mistake. First mistake people and users usually make when they start on Pinterest. What is it? They start with personal account. Yes, maybe you see, you see if you click here, you can see my other video when I explain the difference between the personal account and the business account. And by the name, it's already you know, because business account, it's for business purpose and personal account for your personal stuff, right? Easy peasy. So what are we going to see? Uh, basically the first mistake is that you take your personal account and you start promoting your business, your services, your products, your uh, courses, your workshops, anything you have to sell. Now, is it a good idea? No, because the business, uh, the personal account, it's not ready for you to sell. It's basically for personal purpose. And Pinterest is not promoting your, let's say your pins when you create them from the personal account because the business account you can connect with your domain. What is domain? You can connect a Pinterest account with your domain, with your website, with your blog, with your e-shop. And this, basically you are telling Pinterest, okay, I have my domain. Uh, in my case, it's been inspiration.com. I have my domain and I can use it. I can promote my content. I'm selling something. I have some services. I have courses. I have things I can, I can promote on Pinterest. It's my content, right? So the way you connect uh, with the Pinterest, your account, your business account, it's also uh, Pinterest understand you are not scam and you are basically valid business owner and you can promote this content. So first mistake, let me summarize is always start business account if you want to promote and use Pinterest for your business. And now we're going to see, check the video, subscribe here, because next week we are going to see another second mistake people usually make when they start on Pinterest. So subscribe here and get ready for the next video.